What's going on, everybody? It's your boy once again, Adonis the Dun, and we're not in motion today. We right here in my bedroom. I'm getting ready to head to work. Just wanted to talk about. The dude made a post. I'm not even on his page. But my sister commented on it, and he was talking shit about this girl who's on Section Eight who got three or four kids. Some of the light skinned girl thinks she fine and shit with weave all in the motherfucking head and shit like that. Made me think about the shit that people with Section Eight have that they shouldn't be able to have because basically, if you're on Section Eight, you're getting free shit. If you're on kind of welfare, you're getting free shit. So I think it should be rules for people who get free shit. Right here, I got a little list of things that you shouldn't be able to have or buy if you're on any kind of government assistance. First off, I feel that everyone who's on government assistance should have to take random drug tests. They should, random drug tests should be administered. And when I say random, I mean they should hit you within every month and a half at least. Well, and these are the things you shouldn't be able to have right here. Weave. She ain't be able to have weed because, and I'm going to say weed because most time I hear about a woman getting her hair did, the shit costs at least $100. So if you got weave, enough money to get your hair did, you don't need to be on government assistance. A smartphone, Android, HTCs, iPhones. If you can afford a smartphone, you probably got a data plan too, which means you're spending at least $30 a month or more on a phone bill. Shouldn't be able to have a smartphone. Don't they give your ass a free phone anyway? Stay your ass at home because if you're on government assistance, you're probably lazy anyway. You don't need to, be go you don't need to go nowhere if you're on government assistance. Shouldn't have a car costing more than $5,000. And I gave you $5,000 because I got a good feeling you probably have three or four kids. So you need to auction the motherfuckers out during tax time and you'll probably round up around three or $4,000. So if you have a car that costs more than $5,000, that means you save some money. And which if you're saving money, you have extra money, you don't need to be on government assistance. Jordans, Air Max, Polo boots, if you have any of these things that are real, any shoes that's costing over $50, you don't need to be on government assistance. You need to stick with shoes that cost less than $50. You need to go to the boardwalk and buy all your shoes off that wall. That's the only shoes you should be able to have because if you can get shoes that's $150, then you, you obviously don't need to be on government assistance. Any tattoos, any tattoos is extra money. If you can go get your name on you, that costs $25. You could have saved that $25 and put it towards a real bill. You don't need to be on government assistance. You should be limited to at least two packs of cigarettes a month. If you're spending $10 worth of shit that's going to go away and smoke, you're blowing money. You don't need to be on government assistance. You shouldn't be able to buy no more than a case of 24 beer. If you do drink other liquor, the shit shouldn't come up no past $25 a month. Because, once again, if you go higher than that, it's, that's money that you could have spent on some real bills. You don't need to be on government assistance. You shouldn't have a gun. You shouldn't be able to purchase a gun that costs more than $150. Basically, you shouldn't be able to purchase a gun that's not that little high point. Because, you know, these dudes run around with high points like they got expensive guns. They shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't be able to buy a high point. Your gun should be smaller than a high point if you're going to purchase one. And you should only buy, be able to buy one a year. Because if you buy more than two, that means you saved some money or got money from somebody. Which you could have paid a house, I mean, a rent, some kind of rent or something like that. So you shouldn't be able to have a gun that's not that's equivalent to a high point or lower. You shouldn't be able to have fun. You don't go to system, you shouldn't be able to have fun because most fun costs money. Going to the fair, Six Flags, museums, going to the club, all this shit costs money. And if the fun is free, it's probably illegal. So you shouldn't be able to have fun if you're on government assistance. You shouldn't be able to have rims. Even rims off the streets, if they're going to be up to date rims. Now, if you got some spokes, I give you a pass. If you got spokes, I, I give you a pass. You, you deserve that. But if you got any other rims, chances are they cost at least four to five hundred dollars and what you get four or five hundred dollars for that you can't buy some i mean you can't buy real food with your own money or you can't pay rent you shouldn't be able to have rims on your car unless they came on that five thousand dollar car which you shouldn't be able to really get a five thousand dollar car i just gave you that so you should be able to have rims if you don't section it or housing and stuff like that you shouldn't be able to have a husband because i don't understand how two grown people of eight willing able bodies can be on section eight just don't see it i mean both of y'all work at fast food places full time you still can bring at least thirty thousand dollars home so that means you're probably having more kids than you really can afford which should be a law against that shit too i feel like when you have a kid when you tell somebody you're pregnant or if the hospitals find that you're pregnant they should have forced abortions for anybody who don't have a fucking job because chances are she gonna have that baby she ain't gonna do nothing put somebody on child support or make me pay it through my taxes so you shouldn't be able to have a kid. Well, you should be able to have a kid according to your tax uh, status. So that's a quick list. It get deeper than that. I just didn't feel like writing anymore. I like to say I got to get to work. 
You know what I'm saying? But I was serious about that kid shit. If you're pregnant and you don't have a fucking kid, I mean, if you're pregnant and you don't have a fucking job, they should force you to, they should, you should go to court, first of all, and you should pay a fine, and that fine and the jail time, either you do go to jail for 18 years, or your fine is going to be $30,000 if you don't get rid of that kid. That's my feeling on it. But, hey, y'all don't believe in abortions. Because it's a sin, I know. But you believe in having a lot of kids. I don't know. Okay. I done is done. You see the link. I know this shit gonna seem useless and cruel to some of y'all, but fuck y'all. For everybody who got offended. With all these hoes in the club. Hoes in the club. Hoes in the club. You are the worst. Hoes in the club. Hoes in the club. You are the worst. Hoes in the club. Hoes in the club. You are the worst. With all these hoes in the club. You are the worst. You are the worst.